Track two. Listening part one. Worksheet two. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer: A, B, or C. Question one. You hear an announcement about a band called the Big Bang. This next piece of local news will be of interest to musicians. Some of you will have heard of the Big Bang. You may even have been lucky enough to see them play since they started a year ago. If you have, then you'll know what a brilliant folk group they are. Well, now there's an opportunity to meet them in person at their workshops on the first Sunday of the month, where you can learn to play some of their entertaining tunes. Don't get your hopes up of joining the band, though. They aren't taking on anyone new at the moment. But why not go along and benefit from their expertise? Now listen again. This next piece of local news will be of interest to musicians. Some of you will have heard of the Big Bang. You may even have been lucky enough to see them play since they started a year ago. If you have, then you'll know what a brilliant folk group they are. Well, now there's an opportunity to meet them in person at their workshops on the first Sunday of the month, where you can learn to play some of their entertaining tunes. Don't get your hopes up of joining the band, though. They aren't taking on anyone new at the moment. But why not go along and benefit from their expertise? Question two. You hear a young woman telling her friend about an article she has read. I've just read this article about having hobbies. What did it say? Well, although exercise is good for us, there's evidence to suggest that the more you do, the more injuries you suffer. Sounds like a good reason not to worry about only doing a couple of hours a week. Interesting. The article mentioned loads of hobbies I'd never heard of. I can't say anything particularly appealed, but there was one other thing. You know how people go on about not doing too much gaming, don't you? Well, apparently it makes you smarter. So I'm no longer concerned about my health, and I'm going to buy a new game. Now listen again. I've just read this article about having hobbies. What did it say? Well. Although exercise is good for us, there's evidence to suggest that the more you do, the more injuries you suffer. Sounds like a good reason not to worry about only doing a couple of hours a week. Interesting. The article mentioned loads of hobbies I'd never heard of. I can't say anything particularly appealed, but there was one other thing. You know how people go on about not doing too much gaming, don't you? Well, apparently, it makes you smarter. So I'm no longer concerned about my health, and I'm going to buy a new game. Question three. You hear two friends discussing free time. It always amazes me how many interests you have. I'd be exhausted. I've only got two or three I do regularly. I can't live without sport, but I'm sometimes exhausted afterwards. I often get back home and just sit down on the sofa for a couple of hours. Well, it's good to have time to empty your mind. You're right. I used to pack as much as I could into my time off. I must have tried every hobby there is, but now I need time to chill out. Me too. You don't need to be busy all the time. Getting out of the house for a walk helps me relax sometimes. And me. Now listen again. It always amazes me how many interests you have. I'd be exhausted. I've only got two or three I do regularly. I can't live without sport, but I'm sometimes exhausted afterwards. I often get back home and just sit down on the sofa for a couple of hours. Well, it's good to have time to empty your mind. You're right. I used to pack as much as I could into my time off. I must have tried every hobby there is. But now I need time to chill out. Me too. You don't need to be busy all the time. Getting out of the house for a walk helps me relax sometimes. And me. Question four. You hear a boy telling a friend about the sport of diving. You're a diver, aren't you? Yeah, but in a swimming pool, not deep sea diving. 
Oh, I see. The sort of diving where you jump off a diving board and twist and turn in the air before entering the water. That must be terrifying. <laughs> I never suffered from nerves, though I can see why standing on the 10 metre board might make some people want to climb back down again. You just have to go for it. There's nothing like knowing you've got it just right. It's incredible. You want to do it like that every time. It's amazing watching really experienced divers do their stuff. I watch them to analyse their moves. It's a different experience when you're a diver yourself. Now listen again. You're a diver, aren't you? Yeah, but in a swimming pool, not deep sea diving. Oh, I see. The sort of diving where you jump off a diving board and twist and turn in the air before entering the water. That must be terrifying. <laughs> I never suffered from nerves, though I can see why standing on the 10 metre board might make some people want to climb back down again. You just have to go for it. There's nothing like knowing you've got it just right. It's incredible. You want to do it like that every time. It's amazing watching really experienced divers do their stuff. I watch them to analyse their moves. It's a different experience when you're a diver yourself. Question 5. You hear two friends talking about hiking. Are you off hiking this weekend? Yeah, I find it very relaxing. It helps to clear my mind. I've just joined a walking group myself. I know so little of the surrounding area despite having lived here several years now. I've heard some of the hills round here can be pretty hard going, but I'm sure the exercise won't do me any harm. And there are some fantastic views. Mm. The truth is I find looking down from heights petrifying. I'm hoping this will cure me of that. If I'm honest, that's my main motivation for giving it a go. Anyway, I'm sure I'll enjoy the views and the fresh air. Now listen again. Are you off hiking this weekend? Yeah, I find it very relaxing. It helps to clear my mind. I've just joined a walking group myself. I know so little of the surrounding area despite having lived here several years now. I've heard some of the hills round here can be pretty hard going, but I'm sure the exercise won't do me any harm. And there are some fantastic views. Mm. The truth is I find looking down from heights petrifying. I'm hoping this will cure me of that. If I'm honest, that's my main motivation for giving it a go. Anyway, I'm sure I'll enjoy the views and the fresh air. Question 6. You hear a man telling a friend about producing furniture as a hobby. Have you got any interesting hobbies? Actually, I'm quite passionate about woodwork. That's pretty unusual. What kind of things do you make? Small pieces of furniture, mainly. I use wood from sustainable sources. Some woodworkers enjoy restoring things, making them look like new. That's not for me. I tend to make stuff that I give away. I don't sell it. I haven't got space in my house, so I don't do it because I need more cupboard space or anything. It's just for fun. I find that it helps to balance the dullness of my job where there isn't much room to express myself. <laughs> Fantastic. Now listen again. Have you got any interesting hobbies? Actually, I'm quite passionate about woodwork. That's pretty unusual. What kind of things do you make? Small pieces of furniture, mainly. I use wood from sustainable sources. Some woodworkers enjoy restoring things, making them look like new. That's not for me. I tend to make stuff that I give away. I don't sell it. I haven't got space in my house, so I don't do it because I need more cupboard space or anything. It's just for fun. I find that it helps to balance the dullness of my job where there isn't much room to express myself. <laughs> Fantastic. Question 7. You hear a review of a film. This week's Film of the Week sees Ricky Riley return as the hero in Mark Martin's latest thriller, Midnight. I'm sure you all remember Riley's stunning acting in Redwood last year. 
Well, I'm afraid to say that despite the complex plot and satisfying closing scenes, Riley's performance fails to live up to expectations this time. That isn't to say the film isn't worth seeing, it most certainly is, though I personally would have liked to see some of the beautiful mountains and lakes of the area the film's set in, rather than the inside of the main character's apartment, which is where most of the action takes place. Now listen again. This week's Film of the Week sees Ricky Riley return as the hero in Mark Martin's latest thriller, Midnight. I'm sure you all remember Riley's stunning acting in Redwood last year. Well, I'm afraid to say that despite the complex plot and satisfying closing scenes, Riley's performance fails to live up to expectations this time. That isn't to say the film isn't worth seeing, it most certainly is though I personally would have liked to see some of the beautiful mountains and lakes of the area the film's set in, rather than the inside of the main character's apartment, which is where most of the action takes place. Question 8. You hear two friends talking about taking photos to put on social media websites. You take loads of photos, don't you? Do you upload onto the instant photo site? Yeah, I do. I've got this amazing phone with loads of different apps on it. You can create all kinds of weird and wonderful effects with it. It's brilliant for experimenting with. People do loads of crazy stuff, though I tend to avoid looking closely at pictures posted by mates in case I'm too influenced by them. You've got to start out with a decent photo in the first place, though, haven't you? Yeah, it helps. You'll only get either negative feedback or none at all if the composition or lighting are no good, and no one wants that. Now listen again. You take loads of photos, don't you? Do you upload onto the instant photo site? Yeah, I do. I've got this amazing phone with loads of different apps on it. You can create all kinds of weird and wonderful effects with it. It's brilliant for experimenting with. People do loads of crazy stuff, though I tend to avoid looking closely at pictures posted by mates in case I'm too influenced by them. You've got to start out with a decent photo in the first place, though, haven't you? Yeah, it helps. You'll only get either negative feedback or none at all if the composition or lighting are no good, and no one wants that. <laughs> 